We all know you clicked on this video to look as cool as this guy. And I'm here to help, so let's get right into it. Just a quick disclaimer before we start. To be able to play LSPDFR, you need to complete the first mission and get to a safe point in the game. So if you have never played GTA 5 yet and this is your first time opening it, go back and finish the first mission. I'm gonna say it once, so don't mess it up. With a browser of your choice, we're gonna go to lcpdfr.com. Once that loads in, look for LSPDFR and give it a click. You'll see a nice blue download button with the latest version. Go ahead and click that. You'll also see a scary red warning message telling you to disable your antivirus or Microsoft Defender. I recommend doing that to avoid any issues during the install. Trust me, it is safe. Just go to your taskbar, click on the shield thing, then virus and threat protection, go to manage and turn off every option there. Now that we have that disabled, let's download the file. So go ahead and click download this file. Scroll all the way down and hit agree and download. Congrats, you just signed your life away. With that out of the way, let's download the manual install. I prefer doing that so I can ensure all the right files are where they need to be and to avoid bugs in the future. Keep in mind that this includes Ragehook plugin, so you do not need to download anything else. While this is downloading, let's go ahead and find the main GTA 5 file. Go to your Steam library and right click on your game. Then properties, then find local files and hit browse. There you go, you're almost there. Let's find your downloaded zip file now and drag that to your desktop. To open this file, you will need WinRAR. It's free, so go ahead and download that. There's a lot of different programs that can do the same thing. I just recommend this one and this is what I use personally. Now you can just open it and drag things out of it without extracting. I prefer to do it the other way. And notice that I did not drag the license folder. That's because we don't really need it, but there's no harm in copying that as well. At this point, you have installed LSPDFR and you are good to jump into the game. Before you do that though, let's configure some stuff. Go back to your main GTA 5 files and find Rage plugin hook. Right click, then send to desktop. This creates a shortcut for you so you don't have to find the main files every single time you want to play this game. Open Rage plugin hook and accept the disclaimer. Then go to game settings and back up your game. It's quick and easy and it will save you from headaches in the future if you install a bad mod or something like that. Last step here is to change this threshold to like 50,000. The max you can use is 60,000. I just do it at 50 because I don't know, I just like that number. This just helps the game with loading all your mods and plugins. So you don't have to worry about it now. So now that you have installed LSPDFR, let's hit save, launch, and see what happens. We'll let Rage Plugin Hook do its thing. And GTA 5 should launch. You got this new menu showing all the stuff going on. And eventually you'll get to this black screen and boom you're in game playing as franklin and you're like wait i'm not a cop yet yes you have to go on duty and do a couple of things to personalize the game to the way you want if you made it this far and this video has been helpful leave a like and subscribe you now have lspdfr and i won't mind an extra subscriber now hop in your car and go to any police station walk in as if you own the place and find the lockers You'll get to this point, hit enter to go on duty and confirm character selection. This is where you get to customize your pad. So take your time on this since you only get to do this once. When that's done, select your outfit and inventory. Then go to the garage to choose your car. You can customize it and add modifications before you hit the streets. There you go. You are now officially on duty and ready to accept calls. Don't follow my lead. Quick bonus tip for those that watch this video all the way, once you have gone on duty once, you do not need to go to the station now to start playing. Just launch your game and hit F4 to open the Rage plugin hook console. Then type in reload all plugins. This will load LSPDFR. After that, you just type in force duty. This allows you to be on duty without the need to go through police stations and so on. Don't mind the stuff on the left side. These are just plugins I have added to my LSPDFR. They improve gameplay and immersion. After that, just spawn in your favorite car. I have a bunch of add-ons here because they look cool as <laughs> There you go. This was Mesto here and I hope you enjoy LSPDFR as much as I enjoyed making this tutorial for you. Make sure to comment below if you have any questions and I'll try my best to help you out. And don't forget to subscribe and leave a like for your boy. Peace.